Closing, closing, closing. Gonna cut the knee. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Break, 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 break. In today's video, we are doing a race at Las Vegas. Eight laps in the Williams of Alex Albon, and we're gonna test out the new update, which features a new layout, which I'm very excited about, and I haven't actually done a single lap up until this point, so I genuinely don't know what has changed. So this could be very, very interesting. Before that though, hopefully you guys are doing well. I'm back on the channel, we're back with the content. Hopefully you guys stick around. Big things on the way this year, and I can't wait to get underway, and hopefully you guys look forward to it. So leave a like and subscribe. Down below, I'll leave a link to the mods used in this video, and yeah, let's get into it, and let's hopefully have a decent race. Now then, intro out of the way. Let's get into the juicy stuff. Eight laps here in Las Vegas. Hopefully, it's a fun one. Here we go. Lights out and underway here in Sin City. Down to turn one then. It's a short run as we head into the hairpin. We've got absolutely no tyre temperature right now, so just trying to make it work. Through turn two, bit of a left kink into this long right. We've got no grip on the tyres, and we now kink onto this back straight. So this will be the first proper overtaking slash DRS zone. Up until this point, the layout seems the same. Now we've got a 90 degree right. So yeah, I'm familiar with that. That's not really particularly different. Look at the uh, ambience, by the way. The surroundings is insane. Through here, we've got a long swooping left. Or oh, not, wait. Nope. Okay, no, no. We've got a chicane now. Okay, interesting. So this has changed. This used to be a, a long flat out left. We've now got this kind of chicane. Just gonna avoid that curb for safety. Now this was a flat out right, but followed by a flat out left. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Into this little funny chicane. McLaren there bouncing over the curves as we now kick onto another huge straight. And this drives through the heart of Las Vegas and the strip through Caesar's Palace. So a big uptake there by the house of Mick Schumacher. Such a long straight. This is going to be uh, quite a spicy one, I think, because all the cars are going to kind of max out. And now into a left. I, at this point, I don't really remember the layout that well. This was the same last one, I believe. And I think this is a run down to the start finish. Um, if I'm not mistaken, unless there's maybe another corner being added or something. I don't know. Okay, no, this is the last corner. And there we go. So they've basically removed that long left swooper and replaced it with a chicane. So. With that in mind, we can now go racing. I know exactly where I'm going. Memory has been refreshed. So we can now get to work. Let's use a bit of engine mode and let's try it. And hopefully get stuck into this. So we're running maximum AI, 100%. Which is the highest you can go. Oh my god, Magnus up the inside there. Fair play. AI seemed pretty racy actually. And uh, actually pretty well trained. Where's the braking zone for the chicane? I have no idea. There we go. And now into this left hander. Uh, keep it on the track. Lovely. Visually, stunning. And also, I must admit, it's running super smooth on my PC. So testament and the credit to the models, they've done a good job of optimizing all of these buildings as we uh, take a chunk out of the chicane. But it looks insane, man. This is so, so well done. Definitely a huge update. Okay, so on to lap three. We'll start to use the RS now. And uh, just to make this video a bit more spicy and hopefully get some overtakes. But this has really good potential for racing, by the way. Like, at the end of the day, it's, it's just a track with very long straight. So you're going to get racing action around here. No doubt about it. So that should be exciting. Oh, that's... Uh, Bit of a rear lock, my god. I tried to move the brake right towards the rear, that completely backfired. Starting to make some progress now, though. Closing in on Aston Martin ahead of us and the Haas. A little bit of a run actually through here. Gonna stick my nose in. Oh god, whoa, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Whew. Nice save. Open the DRS. We'll try to rechallenge. Just lock the rears there. Let's move the brake past towards the front just a little bit, but here we go. Putting that DRS to work as we reach past Sebastian Vettel. And now we're going to get the run on the house. But AI seemingly not opening 
their rear letterbox. So we're getting the chance here to make some moves. Oh, that was a bit wide there. Gonna have to give that one back, I think. That wasn't a fair pass. We'll let Schumacher back through. And we'll try for a re-challenge again. Going for turn one. Potential for a photo finish as well, by the way, where the finish line is. On the outside of the first corner. Schumacher goes in early. We're going to get the cut back. Through the long right. This gives you a bit of an idea of what the racing could be like here. As we make a lovely move on Schumacher there. Up into P12. We have a gap now to the cars ahead that we'll try to hopefully close in. On the start of this track though, it's actually insane how well um, this update is. It's just running so smooth with all the new visual tweaks. Last time I remember it didn't run that smooth, but this is a really, really nice improvement. I definitely recommend it. Right, so we're closing in on the McLaren ahead. I'm not exactly sure what the DRS zones are, but I'm assuming it's the three big straights. But this has potential, man, for a last lap. Absolute showdown of fireworks, especially that corner before the kind of chicane. I don't left hand the chicane and it could be very interesting. We were closing in on the McLaren here. Oh, from Lando Norris, I believe. Nice stuff through there, got nice and tight. Actually, I think it might be Daniel Ricciardo. That's Daniel Ricciardo. Here we go with the DRS. Try and spot the braking into here. A little bit early there, Ricardo fights back. Slight bit of contact as we go south our side into the long left and into the chicane. Another move done though, as we move to P11. And that's Alpha Tari's next. Interestingly, he opens the DRS through there, so we'll use ours and get by. And that is now P10 to the points. Up next, this is Alpine. Through the left, keep it within track limits. Nicely done. And now, DRS open. Maybe they won't actually allow DRS here because it's such a long straight. It'll be quite realistic. There we go, putting a long side arc on down the Las Vegas strip. The yeah, Alpine actually powering back ahead without the DRS. Oh, snap on the braking. Arcon holds on though. DRS open again, and this is what I mean. This was the last lap. Full engine power. Could we get a run to the line? This is what I mean. This gives you the preview. And that would be... Position for us, I believe. Arcon's still there. Whoa. Evasive action. Arcon does get back through. Go for the tight line through there. And that works out beautifully. As the night skies start to fall here. In Las Vegas. Two and a half laps to go. Right now, hold on to your hats, folks, because we are in for a spectacular final two laps here. Lots of cars in front, battling away, and we're about to join the party here and get stuck in. So this is about to get very, very interesting. Already P9. We're looking at a possible podium, I think, as far as that, that's that there's that many cars ahead of us. See, let's try and nail it and make some progress. Nice done through turn one. We're now going to gain a lot through turn three. We're pretty strong through here. Straight on to Carlos Sainz. DRS open for both of us. As the AI now dabbling with a bit of DRS. Quite have a look. Sainz actually puts a move on the Alfa Romeo instead. And it's all elbows out now as we. Slip one up the inside. Oh, I thought about it there into the chicane. The Alfa Romeo actually taking a base of action, but still making it work. Slip wide through there though, makes a mistake. That's the invitation. And we'll go through. And make the move to P7. Now we can try and get this Alpine of Fernando Alonso. Front close into the break zone. Nicely done. Square off the exit. Open the DRS. Alonso isn't using his DRS, so we're gonna close in here. See, just making that progress. Gradually just reeling him in on the straight bit by bit. There we go. 
the leader already on the last lap, which is insane. Onto the brakes, Alonso fights back, side by side for the chicane, Alonso holds on. Back around the outside, can we get him into turn one maybe? Closing, closing, closing. Gonna cut underneath. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break, 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 break. A little bit wide there. Think we've got the move done though. Alonso uh, with a re-challenge. Oh, so good through there. Come on. We're flying. Getting the run on George Russell here. Come on, come on, come on. Can we outbreak him? Oh no, never mind. Whoa! That completely threw me off there. Oh, it's a disaster on the last lap. It was all going so well. I was trying to match Russell on the braking, and by matching his braking point, I just completely t in the Red Bull. Oh dear. I just don't know the braking points around here. I trusted Russell, and uh, that backfired. What a shame. Anyway, it was looking like a grandstand finish. Instead, we'll see if we can try and salvage a point. Let's get past Nicholas Atifi first, which we do straight away. This isn't over yet. Still got a chance. Okay. Let's try and get the Haas. The ice open. Come on. There we go. That's Schumacher out of the way. The 11. Just one more to go. This could be a, a grandstand finish here. Just got to try and nail this little chicane coming up now. Up into full power mode. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. Can we get close enough for a full power mode here? Can we get the McLaren on the line? Now we're closing. We're pulling him in to the outside. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we've done it just in time. I think we'll take that. That was P10. Wow. Oh, fireworks go off. Potential, man. Serious, serious potential. I'm not kidding and it's the penultimate race of the season so if there's a championship at stake this could be wild well there you have it then guys i've got to say that was very 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 fun very impressive and i think there's actual potential which i'm very excited about confirmation that we did get p10 in the end on the line just about let's see what the gap was actually so we got it by, oh, to be fair, we got it by half a tenth in the end. So the, the finish line was further down than I thought. So yeah, great result. Really good race. Really, really enjoyed it. And that was a really fun experience. I think if we've got any sort of racing like that in real life, this could be a, a serious fan favorite. And I'm a big fan of it. But guys, cheers for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. It really helps out the channel, guys. I'm trying to get that 100K this year. So any help would massively help me out. So uh, yeah, share with your friends. Let them know. And just help me out and you know leave a comment all that good stuff it just really goes a long way in the algorithm as always i'll leave a link down below to the mod go check it out link down below to the car and the circuit and yeah as always a big shout out to the members for always supporting the channel finally check out the two videos on screen and i'll see you guys in the next one take care and let's go back from me